For one thing, I tell you, it's good to be, it's good to be back home, and um, I thank God for uh, our safe journey of traveling through five states uh, over the past. Hmm? You start in three minutes. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to start on time then. But you just told me we were started. Well, I was letting you know that you were live. Okay, so uh, are they seeing me now? Yes. Okay, I just that's all I need to know yes. is that they're seeing me and I'm seeing them. Uh, but anyway, it's so it's so good to be back home. We just traveled five states from last Thursday and and return back safely, we thank Almighty God for a safe journey um, to Memphis, Tennessee with the Madisons and their beautiful home and then to Dallas, Texas. Uh, Dallas, Texas, I want y'all to know, is a new Dallas downtown now. Um, it looks so beautiful. And uh, I barely could recognize a city that I lived in for 20, 23 years. It was so beautiful. Um, new hotels, um, you know, everything just seemed to be so brand new. Uh, I want to thank our son and daughter, um, Prophet Daryl Johnson and Prophetess Andrea Johnson, of the Now Faith Is World Outreach for hosting such a awesome time. Uh, I want to thank Jermaine Simpson for coming by from KHVN Radio uh, for coming by and showing up and bringing um, a picture of Chris Simpson, uh, the late Chris Simpson, a great artist that I had the pleasure of producing uh, around 1994. And, um, and just bringing back a lot of memories. I want to thank everyone that traveled from near and far. Um, Ambassador Joe Thomas, uh, who came from Jackson, Mississippi. We're going to be in Jackson, Mississippi on March the 18th, I believe it is. Uh, we have a television show lined up in Jackson. Um, Dion is going to be in Jackson with us, and uh, of course I'll be speaking in Jackson, Mississippi on that Sunday. Uh, we thank God for opening doors, and that no man nowhere can close. That's a part of our Kingdom Covenant prayer, that God opens doors that no man nowhere can ever close, and we thank Him for that. Uh, we thank him for an award that uh, we got a call to, a call about while we were traveling um, on the road uh, heading to Memphis, Tennessee. We got a call that there's going to be uh, an, an award given to myself and to Dion on April the 6th uh, in Illinois for Video of the Year, Song and Video of the Year. The song is called Time is Running Out. Uh, if you have not seen the video on YouTube, um, I would highly recommend that you go and watch that video. <clears throat> it is phenomenal, and I'm not saying it because I wrote it. Um, I'm saying it because it is what it is. I want to thank uh, Nehemiah, the 10 Star General, I want to thank um, Michelle Hall, our webmaster and lady general, for putting together such a powerful video um, to be nominated <clears throat> for Video of the Year and also um, to, to win that award on April the 6th in Illinois. We're looking forward to that. And, uh, and as God has been saying to me, and to all of us, the best is yet to come. We're thankful for uh, our photographer, T.D. Mitchell, uh, who, uh, who did all the photography. If you look at Apostle Jeremiah Cummings, if you look at my page, you'll see uh, the Kingdom family. 
We took a picture together, and all of those who travel, again, from near and far, um, our help, Minister Tracy Keith, uh, was there to help us and assist us in Dallas. Um, again, Ambassador Joe Thomas was there to assist us. The Madison, James and Loretta Madison were there uh, to help us in Dallas. And um, just um, Brother uh, Derek Henderson, uh, Yahshua Abdul, uh, who was a captain of mine uh, in 1994, was there to pick up the sound equipment and to assist us in making that event a great event. And I want to thank everybody that came to Dallas. Um, Adrian Granny, proud Granny from Dallas. We want to say thank you. We finally got a chance to meet, and you finally got your Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes um, uh, picture signed uh, by me. And so again, we're honored. You know, um, I'm holding a letter that I just got today from Mother Ida Pendergrass. You know, she'll be 100 years old on May the 5th, uh, this May the 5th. And she, in her letter, and she writes it herself, 100 years old. And, um, and I'm so honored to hear from her uh, as I return and as my wife and I return back uh, to Illinois. And um, um, I can't wait to see her on uh, May the 5th on her 100th birthday. I don't know too many people that are 100 years old. Um, but, and she's sharp, so, oh, she don't forget nothing, and, um, and so, but this is the letter I got from her today, and my wife read it to me, and, and we're just excited. You know, we're living in an exciting time, believe me, when I tell you that we're living in an excited time, and God has just been sharing with me so much, uh, concerning the time. Uh, he, he wants you to know that there's some awesome things that he's going to do with you that are going to startle family. It's going to startle the nation. As a matter of fact, uh, this came to me late, I mean, just late today. And I called it the awesome thing I'm doing with you will startle nations. My God. God says, I'm going to do some things with you that's not only going to startle your family, not only going to startle your friends, it's going to startle the world. Amen. Amen. God is going to do some uh, uh, God is going to do some awesome things with you. All right. All right. As a matter of fact, you know, we live by the promises of God. You know, God has given us exceeding great and precious promises. 2 Peter 1 verse number 4. He said, God has given us exceeding great and precious promises that through them we might become partakers of the divine nature. That means we'll take on the nature, the character, and the attributes of God through the promises of God. For years, I preached a message called, The Power is in the Promise of God. That's where your power source is. When Jesus says in Luke 10, 19, I give you power. Amen. So what, I mean, what kind of power are you? How do you give me power? I give you power from my word. For the word of God is powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Uh, Jeremiah 5 and 14 says, Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And thy word was the, um, was the uh, joy and the rejoicing of my life. In, uh, in Jeremiah 23, 29, he said, Is not my word like fire and like a hammer that break rocks in pieces? So the power that you're looking for um, is the word of God. Amen. Even when the Bible talks about putting on the whole armor of God, uh, the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit, all of that is nothing but the word of God. Are you listening to me? And so again, I want to thank all of you that are tuning in tonight. You know, it's going to be exciting. I'm only on for one hour or 55 minutes, you know, so, and it's only once a week on Thursdays, you know, but I want to encourage you. I want to inspire you. You know, I want to share intellect, intelligence with you from the Word of God. 
So God, and I want to cover a lot of things, and like I said, I have about three subjects, and I was telling my wife. I said, I got about three subjects that the Lord just poured, just poured on me today. You know, she said, well, which one are you going to do? I'm going to try to do most of them, but I know I won't be able to finish, but, you know, I'm going to do the best that I can. But the last message that the Lord gave me was the awesome thing I'm doing with you that will startle nations. Are you listening to me? Now, um, another Hebrew thought about nations is imaginations. That's a nation too. You know, it's going to startle the minds of people. What God is getting ready to do with you, beloved, is going to leave people in awe. They go say, oh, Lord, you know, wow, you know. But I'm telling you, be happy about it because the Lord says, I'm getting ready to do some things with you. You're going into acting but never had an acting class, all right? You're going into writing a book but you never wrote a book. Are you? You're going to sing and record and you never sang and record. You know, um, uh, Noah was not an art builder. Can I get a man? Noah did not have a history of building arts, but he built one and brought salvation to a nation. So you don't have to um, you don't have to know how to do something when you're in the Word of God. God will guide you. All right. I remember one time. I've never fixed chairs. I've never um, repaired chairs. But the chair broke. And I said, Lord, show me how to fix this chair. I don't want to spend a hundred dollars and get somebody to fix it for me. Show me how to fix this chair. You know, and he said, Ask it, it shall be given unto you, seeking you shall find. I got me, I got my screwdriver, I got all these different things. You know, you're gonna be doing things that you didn't go to school for. I'm gonna say that again. You're gonna be doing things that you've never been trained for. God is going to drop a divine eye time. People are doing things that they never did before. Uh, you listen to me. Um, Henry Ford wasn't into building cars, but he built one. And Ford is still around. And so you're going to be doing things that are going to leave people in awe. Because there's a gift in you. And, uh, and, and God is going to stir up the gift that is in you. You're going to be writing. You're going to be writing books. You're going to be acting. You're going to be doing things that you didn't train for. All right. You're going to be doing things that God is going to give you an idea. But with that idea, God is going to give you supernatural abilities. Are you listening to me? And how am I going to do it? I'm going to do it by faith. I'm going to do it by faith. I'm just going to believe I can. Are you listening to me? I think uh, Barack Obama won the presidency by saying, I can. Huh? We can. Yeah. And, and so, and, and we did. Okay. You know, so, and, and nobody thought that he would be president of the United States. But he kept saying, yes, we can. And, and by faith, we believe that we can. And so, uh, you got to believe. As the scripture says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things. There's nothing impossible when you have faith. Now, the word that God had for me at this last moment was the awesome thing I'm doing with you will startle nations. Not just your family, not just your friends, not just the haters or the or the frenemies, which is, you know, uh, frenemies. Friends and enemies. they friends one day, they enemies the next. It's going to startle them. They're going to be in awe at what God is doing in your life. Now, that scripture that God dropped on me today was taken from the book of Exodus. In Exodus chapter number 34 and verse number 10, in the New International Version, God says, I'm making a covenant with you. God says, I'm making a covenant with you. Now, there is in the scripture called an eternal covenant. I want to go somewhere. I want you to follow me. And the eternal covenant is found in Isaiah 55 and verse number 11. God, the eternal covenant is this. So shall my word be. There shall go forth out of my mouth. 
It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. So God said, if I said it, it will not come back void. If you believe it, it will not come back void. God says, the awesome thing I'm doing with you will startle people. God said, I'm going to do some awesome things with you. And it's going to startle people. It's going to startle you. <laughs> you're, going to be, you're going to be startled at what God is about to do. The door that God is about to open for you. He says, I set before you an open door that no man can close. In our kingdom covenant prayer, we say that no man nowhere can close. So God is getting ready to do, are oh, you listening to me? I'm talking to you. The Lord said you are about to do some awesome things and he, and he makes a covenant. He makes a contract. He makes a promise in saying so. In, I, in Exodus 34 and verse number 10, I'm making a covenant with you. Before all your people, I will do wonders never before done with anybody, with any nation. He said, what I'm about to do with you, it ain't been done with nobody like I'm ready to do with you. You know why? Because we're living in the final time, the final day of Satan's rule, where he is supposed to be driven out of the planet. You know, you know I was looking at a scripture today that my wife had uh, read uh, on, uh, on, I think it was last week. And it says in Philippians 2 and 5, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. All that Christ ever preached was the kingdom of God. He, he only preached the kingdom of God and he came to take away the power and authority that the devil took from Adam. Everything that the devil took from Adam, Jesus came to take it back and to give it to you. In the book of Revelation it says, Christ has the keys of death and hell, but when he comes to give you keys, he says, I'm giving you the keys to the kingdom of heaven, that whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. He said, I've come to make you the landlord. That you, you, look, he said, I've come to make you the Lord of the land and I'm giving you power over scorpions and serpents and over all the works of the devil and nothing by any means will be able to hurt you or stop you. You are unstoppable. Yes, you are. You can't be stopped. That's why, <laughs> that's why you're going to surprise yourself at the abilities that God is getting ready to bless you with. Never wrote a book. Got a bestseller. Never sang a song. Wrote a hit. Come on. God is getting ready to open some doors for you. Hey, oh, y'all all right? Can I say it again? He says, let the same mind, the same mind that was in Christ, the Messiah, also be in you. Christ was kingdom minded. And Christ came and destroyed all the works of the devil so that you so that you can run a touchdown and not be tackled. So that you can hit a home run, a grand slam, and bring everybody in. God says you're going to do things that is going to leave people in awe. Even you. Even yourself. You're going to surprise yourself. Never preached before, but God's going to put the Holy Spirit in you and you're going to speak like a Bishop T.D. Jakes or, um, uh, get, I mean, you're going to, uh, Joyce Myers or, uh, uh, I mean, you're going to, you're going to tear it up because God is ready to do some stuff with you that will let you know he got your back. So let the same mind that was in Christ also be in you. So that means you're going to think like a king, walk like a king, talk like a king. Are you listening to me? You're, you're kingdom minded. All right. You're kingdom citizen. All right. Think like that. For as a man thinketh, so is he. As you think, so are you. 
And then you are justified. Remember the scripture in Matthew 12, verse number 37. It says, uh, 12, 27, you are justified by the words of your own mouth. Just if God was saying it himself. So God says that um, he's going to restore everything that was lost in your life and more. Amen. And then God says that he's getting ready to do some awesome things with you that will startle nations. Let me finish the scripture. In Exodus 34 and verse number 10. Now you know Exodus means to pull away or to come out. So you're coming out now. You're coming out of the traps. You're coming out of the bondage. You're coming out of the poverty. You're coming out of the sickness. You're coming out of fear. Because God has not given you the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. And that power comes from the Word of God. The Word of God is your source of power and vision. The scripture said, where there is no vision. That means where there is no revelation from God, where there is no word from God, the people perish. I was speaking with my daughter, Jalisha, uh, about a couple of hours ago, and I told her, I said, everything is the word. If you got the word, you can't fail. If you're standing on the word, you're standing on a sure foundation that can't crumble, that nobody can destroy. It's all about the word. Hey man, like I told you, the devil don't care nothing about you shouting and running and jumping and hollering and screaming as long as you don't get no word. As long as you don't walk out of there reading, re reciting, and retaining what you read. I don't care about that. You know, and, uh, and so let me, let me finish this because you know how time flies. Again, I want to thank everybody in Dallas, Prophet Daryl Johnson, Prophetess Andrea Johnson, all of the members of Now Faith is World Outreach. We're so honored by your wonderful, wonderful hospitality in Dallas, Texas, and we're thankful. I am, God says, I am doing with you what I am doing with you will startle your family, your friends, will startle the nations. In Exodus 34 and 10, I hope I can get through this because I'm stuck on that. I'm stuck on this. I am making a covenant with you. God says, I am making a covenant with you before all your people. I will do wonders never done with any nation in all the world. My God. The people you live among, okay? The people you live among will see how awesome is the work that I will do for you. Yeah. Now listen. God is talking about deliverance and delivering you from something and putting you somewhere else. I used to quote before I spoke years ago, back in the 90s. Um, in Colossians chapter 1, verse 12 and 13, giving thanks unto the Father who has made us fit to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. So, those of you, let me say something. If you're not saved, if you're not delivered yet, the best thing that you can do right now is get saved and get delivered because you got too many promises in the scriptures not to enjoy the life, the God-designed life that God has you as a, has for you as a kingdom citizen. You want to be in God, in Christ, in the Word so that you can reap all the benefits. This is a covenant. That God, this book is full of covenants. This book is full of promises. This book, oh, you're listening to me. It's full of liberty. It's full of, um, I was sharing with my wife about wealth. And some people uh, are afraid of wealth. I mean, I mean they're afraid of riches. I mean, um, uh, uh, they get on you because of you talk about riches. Well, the Bible talks about riches in Proverbs 10 and 22. 
It says the blessing of the Lord maketh rich. Or the blessing of the Lord, the blessings of the Lord maketh rich and add no toil to it. In other words, to be in, in the kingdom of God, you can walk into wealth. I'm going to tell somebody something and I hope you grab this. You're one person away from your breakthrough and you're one person away from your wealth. One person. And I pray that you would that you would decree this one person in your life, as, as Job 22 and 28 said, you will decree a thing and it shall be established unto you and the light of God's favor shall shine upon your ways. You will decree, you will declare it, you will speak it. And you will, you will decree a thing and it shall, that's a promise, and it shall be established unto you. And the light of God's favor will shine upon your ways. But it takes faith. You got to decree. You Look, you have to really come to the point as being a child of God. You're deserving the very best that God designed life. When God gave, uh, when God created Adam, Adam didn't have to have faith for nothing. He gave it to him. It didn't take no faith. He gave him everything. But what happened with Adam, Adam lost his assignment. And he lost it over to the devil. He lost his assignment. God gave him five assignment gifts. God told him to be fruitful, be productive, and multiply. Spread it everywhere. All right? God told him to be fruitful and multiply. And replenish the earth. Subdue it. Bring it under your grip. Then he said, and uh, have dominion. That means supreme power to rule. But when he disobeyed God, he lost it all. He lost God's glory. God is restoring his glory. As I gave to you, uh, y'all are right. <laughs> As I gave to you in Numbers 14 and verse number 21, God makes a vow and a promise to himself. He says in Numbers 14 and 21, but as truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. That's God's aim. Amen. And Adam lost the glory. Jesus comes back. And in John 17 and 22, Jesus said, and the glory in his prayer. He says, and the glory that you have given to me, I have given to them. So he comes to give you back the presence of God, the Shekinah glory of God. The attributes and the, and the divine nature of God, which was God's plan from the very beginning of time. Oh my goodness. But deliverance is powerful. It's a powerful word. But more powerful is the understanding of what we are being delivered to and from. Our translation and transition is from the power of darkness into the kingdom of God and His Messiah. We're being delivered there because God wants us to, re, to recapture the glory, the presence, His very presence, where Satan is driven from you. Driven from you, as I gave you in Job 18 and 18. In 2018, this is 2018 in Job 18 and 18. It says, Satan shall be light into darkness and chased out of the world. Hey, who are the chasers? You are the chaser because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You can command the devil to bow. You can be the best of the best. Amen. Not the sun. The sound. The sun is not the, uh, you know, it's not the, the crown of God's creation. He made that for you. The sun. You see all these people laying out on the beach getting a tan. The sun was made for you. It gives you energy. It keeps your skin from, uh, from wrinkling. It tightens your skin. The sun gives you color. The sun. It was made for you. It gives uh, it gives power to the earth that causes it to hit the equator and cause the earth to spin. Uh, it gives us night and day. Come on. He created the sun for you, the moon. That is a reflection of the sun. He gave the moon for you. You are the crown of God's glory. Everything that God made, he made it for you. Are uh, you listening to me? 
Sure, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness of the world and they that dwell in it. But everything that God did and everything that God created, He created it for you. And He will give you the desires of your heart. The Bible says, commit yourself therefore to God. And He will give you the desires, not just your needs. He'll give you the desires of your heart. I've always thought big, all my life. You know, they used to tell me I think too big. They used to tell me what I'm not going to do. They used to tell me you're not going to, I can't do it. But I was taught by a grandmother when I was four years old that if you get on your knees and talk to God, that he'll answer your prayers and he will do whatever you ask him to do if you believe. At four years old, I was taught that. <coughs> and she was right. If you have faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed, you can speak to mountains. What do you mean mountains? Anything that stands in the way of your progress, that's a mountain. And command it to be removed and cast into yonder sea and it shall be done. Amen and amen. And you have the word of God in your mouth that is so powerful. And that's why, you know, I don't understand how is it that we don't study, we don't read, we don't meditate in the Word of God. And when Christ tells us that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And when you get the Word of God in your mouth and you speak the Word, God says you're justified by the words that come out of your mouth. And God said it's just if I was saying it myself. Oh my goodness. Can I get to where I'm trying to go to? The assignment was lost. Adam lost his assignment. Christ came to recover the aborted assignment today and now. And the prophecies of Scripture says that the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Yeah. Daniel 7 and 18. It's in the Bible if you told the page out, beloved. Daniel 7 and 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and forever. Well, if I'm going to take the kingdom, I'm going to live like a king. I'm going to walk like a king. I'm going to rule like a king. I have confidence like a king. Amen, amen. I'm not limited. And the kingdom of God is here. And the glory of God is here. It ain't in the sky. You're in the sky right now. What do you think the earth is? On a 360 degree ball, ain't no up. There's no direction called up. On a 360 degree ball, if you're on the bottom, on the south pole, you're looking out, but ain't no up. You're in space. You're out of space right now. Are you listening to me? And you say, well, where am I going after I die? Well, prayerfully, you're going to be with the Lord. But where's the Lord if he ain't up? Wherever he is, you go where he is, you're in heaven. Amen. He wants you to enjoy heaven on earth. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. No lack there, no lack here. No poverty there, no poverty there. No, no poverty here. No sickness there, no sickness here. Come on. No death there, no death here. Are you listening to me? I know what it's like. I keep telling y'all every week. I know what it's like to die. I know what it's like to feel dead. On August the 7th, 2017, died. But I had a wife and a great artist who knew the power of words and commanded Jeremiah to live again. And God raised me from the dead, my God. And I've been running ever since. I've been going ever since. And I thank God that I'm healed from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. And God wants to put healing in your hand. Somebody I'm talking to has a healing ministry. 
you able to you able to call sickness by faith. Are you listening to me? You able to you able to heal with your hands, not even touching them. You speak healing. You speak words that bring healing, that brings confidence, that bring power. Yes, you are. And some of you are searching for your gift. Ask God. Ask Him what your gift is. Amen. So, the Bible... I will restore... Lost. It's in the Bible. You got you to, the only thing that you can live by is what God promised you. Because the power is in the promise. Remember, um, 2 Peter 1 4, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these we may become partakers of the divine nature. Amen. If you don't, if you listen to me, if you're out there somewhere, go to Barnes on Amazon and order you a book of promises. Found, I found over 3,500 promises in the Bible. Every one of them is yes and amen. Learn them. Learn what your rights are. Amen. Learn what your covenant is. You have a kingdom covenant. This book called the Holy Scripture is a book of covenants. Kingdom covenants. Covenants for kings and priests unto God. God says, I will restore. Jeremiah 33 and 6. I will restore everything that was lost and I will build everything back as good as And I'm going to build everything back as good as new. What the devil thought that he took from you, God said, I'm going to restore it. And I'm going to make everything as good as new. He said, nations will be in awe. There it is. He said, nations will be in awe of the blessings I'm pouring out on you. Somebody say, I receive it in Jesus' name. Somebody say, I receive it. I didn't say it. It's in the Bible. You can tell the page out. It's in the Bible. In Jeremiah 33, 6 and 9. I will restore everything. How much is everything? And I'm, oh, I mean, I'm, I'll be 67 years old in August, beloved. And I had people to take stuff from me. I mean, I had people not to pay me. Yeah, some churches too. But you know what I did? I sold it. They thought they were taken from me. I said, I'll sow it. I'll give it to you. I'm going to sow it because if I sow it, I can grow it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And so he said, I will restore everything that was lost. And I will build everything back as good as new. The nations will be in awe of the blessings I'm pouring People are going to be in awe. Blessings that God is. I have a daughter. Well, I have a, I have several daughters. I have a, I have a few daughters. In Washington D.C., I she never wrote a book before. <laughs> she never wrote a book before. The next thing I know, she done wrote a book. Yeah, she never wrote a book before. That's a gift. Now she just needs to come back and write another one. She's a great actress. A great comedian. You know, and I told her, I said, you need to be on stage. Get in a play. You know, do something. You got it. Who would know better than me? I mean, I manage people. You know, um, I, I work with Teddy Pendergrass in the studios. You know, uh, I have about 50 years in music business. I know talent. I know gifts. I have a son, Jerry Cummings. I mean, he's a studio drummer. Never had a lesson in, in drumming. He's a keyboardist. I have another son, Jermaine Layton, a master musician. You know, I mean, these are gifts. You got gifts. You have healing gifts. Preaching gifts, writing gifts, come on, directing gifts. It's all in you. 
but the voice of intimidation and limitation, you follow. And God is saying, don't follow the voice. God said, I'm going to do some awesome things with you. Amen, amen, amen. Now, it all comes, the ability to do the supernatural comes from God's word in you. Are those people? Are those people? Mm hmm let me, let me, let me, let me, yo, can y'all, can I, can I name some folks that are on the line, some of these gifted people? Amen. We'll name them. We, we thank God for, uh, Apostle Paulette Isaac. Paulette, um, the name of her ministry is All That God Is World Outreach. All That God Is World Outreach. Go ahead. Amen. Prophetess Andrea Johnson. Now faith is. Listen to this. All that God is, now faith is. These are ministries that um, that I love. And of course, Prophetess Andrea uh, Johnson is our daughter in the ministry. But um, now faith is world outreach. And then all that God is, Apostle Paulette Isaac. Go ahead. Amen. Evangelist Gail Simpson. Evangelist Gail Simpson in Detroit, Michigan. Amen. Sister Brenda Stacer. Sister Brenda Stacer in Kansas City, Kansas. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to pronounce it right. Uh, Papula Abraham. Papula Abraham, I believe, is in Kenya or Nigeria. Okay. He writes every day, beloved. Thank Amen. you so much. Sister Marcy Durham. Sister Marcy Durham is in California. Thank you so much for being with us, Sister Marcia. Ambassadors uh, Joe Thomas and Zelma Bowen. Oh, Ambassadors Joe and Thomas and Ambassador Zelma Bowen. Bowen. They were both in Dallas uh, this past week. And I'm telling you, man, they, they were excited as we were excited. Thank you so much. And of course, your daughter, Jalisha. Jalisha, Jalisha, we've been talking about you, Jalisha. You know, you know, you are too talented. You are too gifted. Uh, I'm, I don't know. You, you just got to get out there because you got it. Amen. Sister I Iola Cox. Sister Iola Cox and from Chicago. God bless you, Amen. Sister Iola. Dr. Andrea Gorham. Dr. Andrea Gorham. Yes, Charlie Stewart. Brother Charlie Stewart. Leroy Glenn. Leroy Glenn. Isaac Watson. Isaac, oh, we got we got some new folks Amen. on. Amen, Stephen Turner. Stephen Turner. Prophetess Gaskin. Prophetess Julia Gaskin, the songwriter. Amen, Sharon Middleton. Sister Sharon Middleton, oh, God bless you. Marina Kuno. All right, Marina Kuno. All of y'all that I've named, Scott. call somebody and share this video with them. Amen. And, 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 and call somebody and tell them to come on on. We got about 20, 21 more minutes. All right? Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Sultan Khan. Sultan Khan. All right. And then Michael Peak. Michael Peak. Of course, 10 Star General. The 10 Star Nehemiah General, Florida. Amen. Um, I don't know if I. Michelle see. Hall. I'll be sure Michelle Hall. As, as a matter of fact, we are simulcasting. Facebook Live at ShabbatRadioNetwork.com. So you can go there. As a matter of fact, um, our web designer, Michelle Hall, has made a column for live Facebook messages that you can go back and look at them and, and go back and, uh, and reach at them. But let me share this with you. I know we have more. We can't get to everybody, but I want to say thank you so much. It's the glory that was lost, the presence of God that was lost. And when we get back that glory... Um, um, in Isaiah 43 and verse number 7, God says, Even everyone who is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. Yes, I have formed him. And so you were created for the presence, the glory, the Shekinah glory of God. And then in, um, in Ezekiel, Ezekiel, no, Isaiah chapter 60, um, it says, Arise from spiritual depression. That was because you were under, um, uh, Satan was, un, was, uh, was attacking you before you became spiritually refreshed. But it says, arise from spiritual depression to a new life. That new life that God wants to bring you into is a God-designed life. 
He says, arise, shine. He says, arise and shine for the light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you for your light has come and the glory and risen of the Lord, the, the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. This is a, this is a prophetic word for this time. It says, for in fact, darkness will cover the earth. We see darkness covering the earth. This murder that just took place in Florida, in Parkland, Florida, 17 youth were, were, were killed, murdered. And the, the, the book of Isaiah 60 and 2 tells you about the future. I mean, this was written 600 years before the Messiah, but he said, in our communities, darkness is covering the earth. It said, uh, deep darkness will cover the people, but the Lord will arise upon you. And his glory, his presence, his Shekinah glory, his ability, his power, his wisdom, and his glory will be seen on you. Nations will come to your light. Yeah, nations will come to your light, to the light of wisdom that is on you. Nations. It won't be just black, white. It'll be Korean. I remember... Um, when I lived in Arlington, Texas, I used to get artwork or frames done at this shop and it was owned by a Korean uh, brother from Korea. And I would go in and I would talk to him, you know, and he said, you know, I want to invite you to a meeting. It's all Koreans, but you have a mind, a business mind, and we like to have you a part of our organization. You know, and I don't know what it was, but I know now it was the glory. It was the light. And, um, uh, and I was a business person, always been in business, always wanted to do business, you know, but I, I didn't join because I didn't have time. I didn't have time for that organization, you know, but there will be people who would approach you to become a part of something that they're creating. Don't look at it. Look at it. There are people that you don't know. When they see you, they'll see the glory of God. They'll see the favor of God on your life and they'll want to bring you in with them. And help enrich your life. Don't think that somebody trying to pull wool over your eyes. It's called opportunity. I was telling my daughter today. I said opportunity don't just knock on your door. And you say who it is. Or who is it. And, and, and it says opportunity is at your door. No. 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 You call for opportunity. You call for success. You decree success. Are you listening to what I'm saying? God wants you to be successful. God wants you to be prosperous. And then Proverbs 10 and 22 says, The blessings of the Lord, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth. And add no sorrow, no hard work to it. And you got to believe it. You got to believe it. You got to believe what the Word of God said. You got to stand on the Word of God. The blessings of the Lord brings wealth, not poverty, not sickness, not disease. Not uh, depression, not stress. Amen. And you have to be in a position to say, I receive the blessing of the Lord. I receive it. He says, nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your glory. Kings to the, blight, the brightness of your rising. Amen. And so this is what God has planned for you. And... He wants to give you back the assignment, the original assignment that he gave Adam, that Adam lost. Christ came to take it back and to give it back to you. Amen. To be fruitful. To be fruitful. To be productive. To be creative. Are you listening to me? You are a creator because your father is the creator. And you can expand. Oh, you're listening to me. You can expand. Um, I, I, you know what? There's so many scriptures that I want to share with you tonight. But time. You know, um, I, um, I, I got to say this. In 1975, you know, we recorded an album called Wake Up Everybody. It's still a monumental album. And I didn't realize that on the back of the album, and I posted it earlier today, on the back of the album cover, Wake Up Everybody, uh, there is a writing. 
and, uh, and the writing says, wake up everybody, the kingdom of God is here on earth today. I was, what, 21 years old when I recorded uh, on this album and not really looking at all of the writing. You know, we were excited about the album. We were in California when it was released, doing Soul Train. And um, it says, the kingdom of God, on the back of Wake Up Everybody, you know, it says, the kingdom of God is on earth today. The righteous government that we all have prayed for for so long, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. He said, it's here on earth today. Open up your heart so that your body can feel it. Open up your mind so that your eyes can see it. The paradise lost to the paradise regained. And I'm, I'm, I mean, you know, I, I just didn't, I didn't, I never really uh, looked at the album cover that much. But now it means so much to me. You know, and, um, and the kingdom of God. Jesus said, they can't say that the kingdom of God is over here. The kingdom of God is over there. He said, Behold, the kingdom of God is within you. And if the kingdom of God is within you, you are a king, you are a ruler, you are a priest. Amen. And you can receive his kingdom. You know, all you got to do is receive his word. When you receive his word, you receive him. Are right, you listening to what I'm saying? You know, and you, th there's a greater life that God has planned for you. There's a great life that God has planned for you. God has promises in the Bible that all of us need to know. 3,500 promises in the Bible, and every one of them are yes, and every one of them work. Amen. Every one of them, every one of the promises of God work. There's no reason why any of us should be broke, sick, depressed, stressed. As children of the kingdom of God, no. Another promise is found. I got about 12, 10 minutes. Another promise is found in Isaiah 61 and 11. I gave it out in Dallas the other night. It says, For as the earth bring forth its sprouts, the earth bring forth its sprouts, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so justice and praise to spring up before all nations. Well, who, who is it going to come from? Who is, if it says, the Lord God will most certainly cause righteousness, righteousness, Righteousness is the character of God. Are you listening to me? Righteousness. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That's the character of God. Seek the character of God. How do I find the character of God? In the word. You see his character in his word. One scripture says he's faithful. He is faithful. That means if he said it, take it to the bank. It's going to happen. If he, if he said it, he said, His eternal covenant, so shall my word be. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that, gets your, that shall go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and prosper in the things where I send it. He, he guarantees His word. Are you listening to me? He doesn't break His covenant. In, in Psalms 89 and verse number 34, He says, My covenant will I not break, nor will I alter the things that have gone forth out of my mouth. B beloved brothers and sisters, you can stand on the word of God. You can, you, and you, you, <laughs> faith comes by hearing the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And if you have faith in the word of God, there's no limitations on you. There's no, there's no bondage on you. But if you don't know the word, you're going to stay in bondage. If you don't study the word, if you don't pray the word, on Sunday we get we gave them the kingdom covenant prayer. We're getting emails wanting the kingdom covenant prayer. And all of it is the word of God, and all of it is based on the promises of God. And you need to email us. Go to ShabbatRadioNetwork.com and fill it out and ask for the kingdom covenant prayer. Yeah, and bless yourself. Bless yourself. By making a donation on the donate button. I don't care if it's $10, $5, $100, whatever. Make a donation. We'll mail you out the Kingdom Covenant Prayer. I guarantee the first time you say it, you'll feel release. You'll feel a release. You'll see doors begin to open. I'm not trying to sell nothing. I'm trying to give you something so that you can be blessed in all your ways. Amen. I want to share this. The promise. Isaiah 61 and 11. For as the earth bring forth sprouts, and as the garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, 
So the Lord will most certainly cause righteousness and justice and praise to spring up before all nations through the power of his word. Everything is coming through the power of his word. And if you just want to be entertained, you can go to a church that will entertain you all day. That's, you know, uh, I wrote a, a saying today that I got from Randy King, the owner of King Music. You know, it says that if you want to be entertained, he said, he said the natural, the natural man wants to be entertained. But the extraordinary man wants to be taught and wants to learn. And wants to find God. Amen. Amen. He says. It's going to come through the word of God. You know. I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited about what God is doing in this hour. I'm excited for our ministry. Shabbat Global Ministries in Kankakee, Illinois. I'm excited about. The Soul of Philadelphia Music Incorporated, TSOP Music, uh, dot net. Um, I'm excited for Dion, you know. And that's what God wants, the kind of life for you. He wants you to live an exciting life. Yeah, a happy life. A life that's full of joy and, and, and prosperity and divine health. As the scripture says, I wish above all things that you prosper, that you be successful, and be in health because God wants you to be healthy enough to enjoy the prosperity. That you prosper and be in health even as your soul, as your soul is being fed. He says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health. And then you come to a point in the Word of God as we did <coughs> in... Um, Isaiah 60, Isaiah chapter uh, 65 and 16, the power to bless yourself. Yeah, it says in Isaiah 65 and 16, he who blesses himself does it through the truth of God. You come to a point, say, I don't need, I don't need nobody to bless me. First of all, I am blessed and God has given me the power to bless myself. Well, how do you do that? Because he said it in his word. He said that he who blesses himself in the earth would do it through the truth of God. Amen. And if he said it, I can do it. You can do it. You can bless yourself through the truth of God. Through the word of God, you can bless yourself. I am so honored. I know it's a whole lot. can't say it all. But we'll be um, on our Shabbat Radio Network uh, dot com on Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. I want to thank Steve Harris over in London, England. I want to thank him because... We're about to be handed over to the Gospel Truth Radio Network out of London, England by uh, the great radio presents, presenter Steve Harris over there at Soul USA Radio. Uh, today he contacted me and they're working on giving us another network, the Gospel Truth Radio Network out of London, England. Um, not something that I asked for, but we receive. And, um, and so I'm excited. I'm excited about the Video of the Year Award and Song of the Year Award on April the 6th in Illinois uh, for Time is Running Out. Those of you who are watching, go to YouTube uh, and put in um, Time is Running Out by Dion, D-I-O-N, and watch the video. It's phenomenal. Uh, we're thinking about turning it into uh, a, a movie video. Uh, we're working on that with a videographer. Uh, we want to thank Brother... Uh, T.D. Mitchell down in Dallas, a great photographer that we plan to bring in. Uh, we thank um, all of the ambassadors for Christ that are part of the Shabbat Radio Network and Shabbat Global Ministries. We want to thank Shabbat Global Ministries 
uh, in Kankakee, Illinois. Uh, we miss y'all. Uh, we're going to be back in there Sunday. Um, I'm going to be bringing the Word of God, and we're going to deal with the restoration of the divine assignment, uh, um, part four. And uh, we're going to be back every Thursday. Every Thursday at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time to all of my brothers and sisters, Sister Sharon in Germany. Thank you so much for your words. And I know that you're watching in Germany, uh, Brother um, Salugo Arnold in Kenya, Brother Pupala um, in uh, Pupala Abraham in um, I think it's Nigeria, uh, Bishop uh, Patrick Hussani uh, in Nigeria. We thank God for you, and we thank God for all of you. Remember, go to ShabakRadioNetwork.com, uh, listen to the music 24 hours a day, and there you can give. You can make a donation, a tax-deductible donation, and God, and we'll pray over it, and we'll, we'll pray for, uh, over your request. And you'll be blessed. You see my voice about gone. I must have been kind of teaching hard tonight. But I got some throat spray here and some Ricola. I'm going to take it. And to all of you that I didn't, I didn't get a chance to call your name, I, my wife and I want to say we love you. And I'm going to ask my wife to, to pray for us and to pray for you. And I want you to close your eyes and listen carefully as she prays. Dr. Gloria Maria Cummings. Amen. We thank you, Father God, for your word in Psalms 126 and verses 3 and 5 that says, You have done great things for us, and although we may be sowing tears, we shall rejoice. Which tells us that in the spiritual world, you have already done great things for us. And after we've gone through the transformation process of painful things in our lives, we will reap with laugh up. So we say on tonight that we're not going to allow the adversary to convince our minds to settle for where we are, but we will focus on where we are going to leave us and to abandon us because what you've started in our lives, you most definitely will finish. So, Father, we stand steadfast and unmovable on all the promises that you've given us in your word and in the dreams we've been praying about and believing that our season of manifestation is on the horizon and that things will now begin to fall in place and you, Father, will cause things to happen that we couldn't make happen on our own and situations that we needed to be turned around you made them reverse course in our favor. And like the woman with the issue of blood was filled with expectancy. And she spoke over and over that if she could just touch the hem of your garment, she will be made whole. And when she did, she drew the miracle working power out of you. So are we filled with that same expectancy. And right now with our faith, we are drawing your miracle working power out of you to that point a manifestation of our miracle is about to come forth because we know that you are not the kind of God that doesn't deliver because you are our refuge and you are our strength and a very present help in our time of tearful troubles. Hallelujah. So in spite of where we are right now, we will continuously give you the praise until our answer prayers come to pass and give us our joyful outcome. So right now, Lord God, we thank you for increase. We thank you for restoration. And we thank you for new beginnings because we might be passing through something, but we're not staying there with a praise on our lips and a shout in our step because we are working. Hallelujah. We know that you are working on all things in our favor because what the devil meant for our good, you already reversed the course and changed it. Hallelujah. What the devil meant for our bad, you changed it for our good. This is the day that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Thank God for the amen. word. Amen. Our tonight. next assignment, God bless. What a wife I have. Isn't she awesome? But our next assignment is March, the weekend of March the 18th in Jacksonville, Mississippi. And we're going to be there with Dion. We're going to have a great time on next Thursday. It's 7 o'clock from 7 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll be coming back with more word, 
with more uh, power, with more faith. And uh, again, let's stay in touch. Shabbat Radio Network. 24 hours, 7 days a week of continuous music that will bless your soul. I'm Apostle Jeremiah Cummings along with my wife, Dr. Gloria Maria Cummings. God bless you. Have the best day, the best night, and the best tomorrow. God bless all of you. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you.